Hey, Cash. Oh, hey. What's up? I heard you were here in the city visiting a little bit, so I wanted to catch you for 21 questions. Yeah, totally. I'm just on a location scout, but I have time. Perfect. So tell us, what do you do? Well, I am a video director and short form VFX content creator. Cool. And what got you started in video and visual effects? Um, you know, I had a video camera when I was really young, like maybe 16, and just started shooting a video randomly. And it actually came together really nicely and editing came super naturally to me. So, you know, my mom would kind of support me from there and help me figure out what software to get and what cameras to get so that I could sort of grow my skill. Yeah, and so what was your first camera? I think, it, you know, I don't remember the exact model, but it was some little handy cam that yeah. had like the little tape in it. It was a while ago. <laughs> and what's your go-to camera and lens now? Right now, I love using my Sony a7S II, although I'm going to upgrade to the a7S III nice. very soon, and then the Rokinon 14 millimeter lens. Perfect. And how did you get so good at editing specifically? <laughs> so I've really always been interested in editing um, because I love the fact that Rather than shooting, you can really take time with it, try a million different things. You don't have any time constraint. Mm -hmm. So I've always been really drawn to that. And um, just years of experimenting and you know learning from other people and just doing it until I could figure things out. Yeah. And you've worked with countless big talents and brands. What's it like working with big names? Um, it's really, really fun and a lot of pressure. So it's really important to be prepared when you're going into a shoot like that. Um, you know, it's obviously different if you're shooting with somebody like Will Smith, you have a very, very narrow window of time. So you right. have to make sure you are fully prepared and you get the shot 100%. Um, whereas if you're shooting with friends, you know, obviously you have a little bit more wiggle room to be experimental and try different things. So it's just sort of a different process. Sure. And your work is always pushing the limits and always showing something new. Where do you find your inspiration? You know, there's a lot of uh, similar kind of VFX short form artists that I follow religiously and really look at all their stuff all the time. Um, something that's really helpful for me is just keeping different folders on Instagram. So I have like one for effects that I really like, one for camera angles that I really like, one for color that I really like. And whenever I'm feeling like I'm not sure where to go with an edit, I can kind of open up that folder and just sort of see all right, what out of these might apply to this project that I'm working on and how can I put my own sort of spin on it? Sure, that's an awesome workflow. And you've gained a huge following. And how has social media helped you in your career? Social media is pretty much where my career is right now. It's, you know, everything I make is for social media, um, pretty much like Instagram feed content, TikTok, Reels, stuff like that. Uh, and that's like, really 95% of the way that clients find me is just by either DMing me or seeing something on my feed and then reaching out through email, which I just have in my bio. So it just, it really all just comes from pretty much Instagram directly. Wow, that's so cool. And so tell us what is edit.party? Okay, so edit party is essentially a virtual co-working space. So I love to edit and I love to just get really, really zoned into an edit for hours and hours. But you know, if you do that all the time, then you're kind of just by yourself all the time. So I love having people to co-work with. And during COVID, we weren't able to do that. So I was just by myself a lot of the time. And I thought, well, what if there was a virtual co-working space where all these editors could kind of come together and just see each other work and listen to music together, which is how I normally love to do it with my friends in person um, and not really talk, just type in the chat. And so I started it with no expectations and it just blew up. And now we've been running 24-7 uh, for, I guess, a little over a year now, a year and a few months. Uh, we have like 54 different countries represented. There's people of all different backgrounds and uh, who speak all different languages, but they cool. translate the chat. So it, it's actually very open to everybody. Um, we have super professional people, we have people who are just starting their first day of editing, and we have people who are not doing editing at all. We have people who are graphic designers, photographers, really, some people just come on and cook. So it's just <laughs> kind of this great community where everyone's become really close and we have each other to you know, ask questions to, ask about different plugins, different gear, things like that, which is something you really kind of can't do with a lot of different groups of friends. Absolutely, that's amazing. And so I'm curious, your name isn't actually Cash Bunny, is it? Were you born that way? It's not, <laughs> but I don't like to share my real name. Cool. So for now, I like to be called either Cash or any version of Cash Bunny. Cool. And so do you have any projects you're working on or coming up? 
So I've just recently taken a break uh, to move. So I kind of am just hanging out right now, but I have a lot of projects coming up in the next like month or two. Um, one of them is a continuation of a project I did recently. And another one is this kind of live performance, adding effects to it, which should be really, really cool and unique. That's awesome, I can't wait. So switching it up a little bit, what are some tips for someone who wants to get started in video effects? Um, I think my biggest tip would just be to get involved in a community. Mm -hmm. um, so much of what I learned has been through friends and through people that I was able to just kind of ask questions to because a lot of times, you know, tutorials could be difficult or not have the exact thing that you're running into mentioned. Sure. So it's really nice to just have people to kind of like source that information from and to also give your skills to so you can all sort of grow together. Absolutely. So what has been some of the coolest shoots you've ever done? Oh, um, I've done a lot of work for a travel company, so those are always really fun. I've gone to like Europe and uh, the Caribbean and just really all over the place uh, shooting for them, which is always really fun. And of course, Will Smith at Coachella. It was Will and Jada both at Coachella. It was me and Ari Farroy who did the shoot together, and that was, you know, of course, one of the coolest shoots I've ever been on. That's awesome. And what has been one of the most challenging shoots? Most challenging shoot, I would say probably some underwater stuff. There was one in particular uh, where I was in the Bahamas and there was this big shipwreck and I wanted to get a shot inside the shipwreck and I'm not <laughs> skilled at anything water related. So I was kind of clumsy doing it. Um, and I had to swim into the shipwreck while the tide was really, oh really God. like aggressive. And I had to somehow get like a still tripod shot underwater. So there was just so many elements and it was really loud and kind of dark in there. And the water was just like going crazy. So it was difficult and somehow I was able to get it, but that was really, really hard. Wow. And favorite place you've ever shot? Um, I would have to say Havana in Cuba. Cool. Yeah, that was probably the most unique. And we got to see so much cool stuff there. And it's just such a unique, place that a lot of people don't even have the opportunity to visit. So I felt really lucky to Absolutely. be there. Absolutely. And if you could only use one editing software forever, which would it be? <laughs> okay. I love Premiere and I love After Effects and I, I love using both, but if I had to choose one, it would be After Effects just for the reason that there are things that you can do in After Effects that you cannot do no matter how hard you try to manu like maneuver in Premiere, yep. but you could kind of fake Premiere edits in After Effects, sure. so I'd have to go with After Effects. Cool. And I've seen you make some crazy props for some of your shoots. What has been the weirdest one you've ever had to make? Um, okay, weirdest, I would probably <laughs> say it was the hula hoop fabric rig, which was basically I took a hula hoop and got some like sort of iridescent fabric to drape inside, and then we like hung a 360 camera in the middle of it so that we would have half the frame and then in post just flipped it so we had this like orb of fabric wow and you know i i wasn't sure if it was going to look as good as it did in my head but it totally did it totally translated even though in person it was like a very anticlimactic sort of <laughs> thing to look at yeah and you do a lot of collaborations do what's you? your dream collab you know I don't know if I really have like a specific dream collaboration. I kind of, uh, I like to try new things a lot. So instead of like knowing exactly who I want to work with, I like to work with a lot of people and see what is fun, you know? Um, but I would say right now I'm really interested in just like animals. So maybe like Caesar Milan would be great. <laughs> that would be amazing. And if you weren't a video creator, what would you be? Community has always been a really big part of my whole life and my story. So you know, throwing parties. Like I used to throw parties here in New York actually for years and that became a really tight knit community. Edit Party is a tight knit community. So I would have to say it would be something along those lines, maybe creating a co-working space or, or something like that. Awesome. And what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? One day at a time. <laughs> you know, Perfect. a lot of people, they look at like who want to get into videography look at it as this huge mountain to climb. Mm -hmm. But really it's just take a couple steps each day and like you'll get there eventually and there's no rush. That's perfect. And what's your favorite piece of gear? You know, lately it's been my Insta360 ONE X2. I love it, I love 360. There's so many, 
it's just so inspiring because you're already starting with such a cool like step one mm -hmm. when you're with a 360 camera that yeah. there's so much you can do and you know plus the fact that it like stabilizes itself and all that stuff like the, the technology is so good right now that it's just really fun to shoot with and it kind of opens my mind yeah and if there were to be a movie about your life who would play you I've had people tell me that I remind them of Zoe de Chanel. Okay. It might just be the bangs, I don't know, but like maybe her, I guess. Cool, that's amazing. And last question, who should we interview next? I think that's a tough question. There are so many creators that I love, but Romain Laurent would be an excellent one if you haven't talked to him already. Perfect, well call him right up. And thank you so much for answering all of our questions. I'll let you get back to it. Thank you so much. See you soon. Have a good one.